Once upon a time, the Ford Cougar was famed for its hatchback-like handling. After all, the original was little more than a Ford Focus on stilts. Things went a bit fat and flabby for a while, but now the evergreen SUV is back. The third generation family car is on sale now in a variety of distinct and very different flavours. Of particular interest to buyers looking to slash their tax bills will be the all new Cougar plug-in hybrid. Powered by a comparatively large 2.5 litre petrol engine and a 14.4 kilowatt hour battery, the new Cougar PHEV promises rock bottom running costs and the ability to waft along for as many as 35 miles on electric power alone. As is the case with many new family cars, this Ford Cougar is available with a variety of petrol and diesel engines, some with mild hybrid technology. And while Ford's first all-electric SUV will bear the Mustang badge, this Ford Cougar has been fitted with plug-in hybrid technology. Ford promises as much as 201 miles per gallon, but can it match that in the real world? Let's find out. That 14.4 kilowatt hour battery is a good size for a plug-in hybrid like this, and mated to a large capacity petrol engine, means this new Cougar produces a substantial 222 bhp. But a biggish battery doesn't mean it takes an age to charge. Ford says a standard domestic socket will give you those 35 miles of electric power or around 25 to 28 miles in real world driving in around six hours, while a 7.4 kilowatt wall box or a public charge point will top them up in a little over three hours. To charge at a public point, you'll need to option the relevant cable at a cost of 195 pounds. The Cougar PHEV only comes with one lead for home charging as standard. The charge flap is located on the front wing, but opening it reveals only an AC charge port, so there is no option to top up the Cougar at a DC rapid charger. Many manufacturers space out the launch of their new models, but Ford has decided to drop multiple Cougar models at once, which means this is not only our first opportunity to drive the plug-in hybrid variant, it's our first opportunity to drive the new Cougar full stop. It feels just as grown up as the last model, but the engineers appear to have injected some of that famous Ford fun into the recipe. We'll come back to that hybrid system in a minute because it's really important to note that this Cougar looks really quite keen to take its crown back as one of the finest handling models in its class. The ride is firm, yes, but the Cougar never crashes through lumps, bumps and potholes, especially not on the smaller 18-inch wheels on the ST-Line cars. The 19s on this ST-Line X do make the ride a bit stiffer, but on the whole, the Cougar strikes a really nice balance between comfort and handling. Speaking of handling, this Cougar feels much like a taller Ford Focus, which is no bad thing because that is one of the finest handling cars in its class. The body control is good and the steering makes it feel so much more agile than almost all of its rivals. Refinement is pretty good too. Obviously, the Cougar is at its best when it's running around town in electric mode, but increase the pace and things remain hushed. This version, the plug-in hybrid, uses a CVT gearbox, which perhaps isn't the smoothest, but take things easy and the Cougar just slushes along nicely. That power figure is slightly deceptive though because ultimately this is a heavy car. It's around 160 kilos more than the equivalent mild hybrid diesel, which means it doesn't really feel like it's got enough power to back up that tight handling. It's plenty quick enough to keep up with traffic and there's enough shove off the line, but the cheaper diesel near enough matches it in a straight line, even though it's almost 75 horsepower down. In some ways it feels like Ford has tried to deliver too much with this new Cougar plug-in hybrid. Ultimately you'll buy one because you want to reduce your running costs rather than because you want to challenge a Porsche 911 through the bends. The fact that it's so good to drive and its handling is so sweet should come as a happy coincidence rather than a true purchase driver. Ford claims this Cougar plug-in hybrid can return as many as 201.8 miles to the gallon. You'll need a short commute and the ability to charge regularly to realise this lofty fuel economy, but the low emissions give it an appealing, benefiting kind tax banding for company car drivers. The diesel model's percentage rating is almost double, so there are huge potential savings to be made. No matter which spec or wheel size you go for, every Cougar PHEV emits 26 grams per kilometre of CO2. Despite initial concerns, the Cougar's hybrid system is actually pretty easy to get your head around. It's all controlled via two switches on the centre console, so you press the EV button and then you've got a variety of modes to cycle through. The first is a normal mode, so it's basically a hybrid setting that uses the electric motor and the engine to deliver maximum efficiency as the car sees fit. Next is an EV mode, so you flick it through to that and you can prioritise electric running for as long as possible. Following that, you've got EV later, which basically holds the battery power for later on in your journey. Say you're going into a low emission zone or a city centre and you want to use your electric power, then you can save it in the battery. The last mode is an EV charge mode, 
where the battery is charged by the engine. Now bear in mind that this will use petrol from the engine and therefore will reduce your overall fuel economy. It's better to plug in and charge at home. Now on top of that you've got all the usual drive modes that you find in a car like this. So you've got normal, eco, sport and then on top of that despite this being a front wheel drive car you've got slippery deep snow and sand modes as well. The difference they make to the driving experience are limited and I think most people are just going to leave it in the normal setting. If this Cougar PHEV floats your boat, you'll have to sacrifice the cheapest SeaTech trim as a plug-in hybrid powertrain is only available on titanium or above. The upside is that every model gets at least 18-inch wheels, an 8-inch touchscreen, LED lights, dual-zone climate control, wireless phone charging and a suite of safety kits including autonomous emergency braking, cruise control and lane keep assist. ST-Line cars sit above this with sportier styling, a set of fully digital dials and unique wheels, while the ST-Line X like this brings a panoramic roof, powered tailgate, heated front seats, plus larger 19-inch wheels. Vignale boasts premium leather and a head-up display, among other luxury features. The prices for that car hit almost £38,000. The focus of the new Cougar's cabin centres around this beautiful digital instrument cluster. Now it's standard on ST-Line and ST-Line X cars, so it's worth stepping up from the lesser titanium models for this reason alone, because it gives the car just a little bit more of a premium feel. The seat's pretty adjustable, but it doesn't feel like you get all that much thigh support, which could pose problems on longer journeys. And yet you still sit nice and high and you get a good view out. Regardless, ST-Line cars like this get front and rear parking cameras, which can really help when manoeuvring. There's room inside the Cougar for the whole family, and even adults will find they have enough space to stretch out in the back. The standard car's 526 litre boot with the seats moved forward is competitive in this class, and Ford doesn't suggest there's any compromise to be made with this plug-in hybrid version. Fold the Cougar's rear seats flat and you'll reveal up to 1,534 litres, which is around 150 litres shy of what you'll find in a Toyota RAV4. However, be careful specking the optional spare wheel, as this removes the underfloor storage, meaning you'll have to store the cables in the boot along with all your shopping. By injecting some of the original Cougar's dynamic appeal, this latest model stands a good chance of reclaiming its title as one of the finest handling SUVs on sale. And while that's unlikely to be the prime reason that you'll buy this plug-in hybrid model, it's good to know that if the mood dictates, there's fun to be had. It mixes that dynamic appeal with impressive practicality and a simple to use and effective hybrid system, making for a one size fits all, cheap to run family car. On this evidence alone, it looks like Ford could soon be back at its best. Head to drivingelectric.com for all the latest electric and hybrid car advice, news and reviews. And check us out on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Finally, while you're here, make sure you hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to ensure you never miss a video.